Excuse me. Just the thought of like being offered firewood. I'm like, you know, we're in Australia, right? Like bushfires and all that. But yeah, I guess we're not because it's Tasmania. I forget. What's up, guys? It is day three here in Launceston, Tasmania. Day three in this miserable cold. I'm just joking. It's really not that cold. It's like 14 degrees. But when you've been living in sunshine and heat and humidity for the past six months, it is a bit of a shock. But I've gotten used to it. You know, I'm Canadian. We're used to like 30 degree summers and minus 30 winters. So I'm gonna go over to the car rental spot, pick up a car so that we can pack our stuff and see the rest of Tasmania. Okay, pretty decent car here. This is a Mitsubishi Lancer. I basically rented this place from a mom and pop car rental shop. Offered the best rates in Launceston and they offer free camping gear as well. So I've got a tent, gas burner, got a pot, we've got cutlery, cups, everything. We're ready to camp. The only thing they didn't have was sleeping bags. We're gonna head back to the pot hostel, pick up Ling, grab our stuff and then hit the road. Ling read in a brochure somewhere that Launceston is, they're not flash, they're charming. And that is a very accurate picture of, of Launceston. Look at this beautiful, like, kind of Victorian, Edwardian, I don't know what kind of Ian architecture this is, but this is just a, a very pretty town. Bipod in, you had the coolest futuristic pods. Now I know what it feels like to be an astronaut. No, oh, the seat feels like cardboard. It's an old car. It's got 225,000 no, kilometers on it. it's not because this cushion is worn, it's because the design itself is hard. So we're gonna head over, find an op shop somewhere and try to pick up a pair of um, sleeping bags. All right, mates, we tried the mission op shop, no sleeping bags. So now we are here at the second stop. And fingers crossed we get some sleeping bags. And I'm, I can't connect to this Bluetooth. I don't think it actually works. Hands-free system is locked. State the password to continue. Oh shit, I don't know the password. No, Two, I just want to pair. Zero, zero, zero. Incorrect password. Please try again. What? Last resort is uh, just a... <laughs> Blast the world by! No dice with the last op shop, so we drove 2Ks up to Invermay to the salvos here. Ling is inside. Fingers crossed we find some sleeping bags. I got one. Success. Oh, I love the color this though. This one will be for sure for you because it's it's heavy duty. There's also a blanket, so why don't we just get that one and then have a blanket on top of it. Because it'll be me sleeping in that one. But you run hot. You're but the it, hot girl. it also reaches 6 degrees. Tonight it's gonna be 13. The low at of 13. the lowest? At yeah. the lowest? Yeah. Because when I looked at it, it, there are some nights where it'll be 6. Alright, we'll try Vinny's. Yeah, we'll try Vinny's and if anything, at least I know there's some here. Alright, fourth bloody off shop. Please let there be a sleeping bag for Ling. Success with the sleeping bag. Ling got one that she's gonna keep. So that's even better. Back in New Zealand! No psych again, we're in Tassie. It just looks like New Zealand. Oh, haha. We're in New Zealand? No, we're not in Hobart. No, we're in
It is about 2 p.m. Haven't had lunch yet, so we stopped in the town of Kuichi. I didn't make that up. The town no. is actually called Kuichi. What is it? It's not. <laughs> We're in St. Helens. So what's... <laughs> So what was Kuichi? <laughs> Here's the name of that one motel. <laughs> I saw this big wooden sign oh my God. with green letters that said Kuichi, and I thought the town was Kuichi. Um, it's actually nice out. I'm wearing a jumper, and I'm I'm quite warm. And look, there's a guy wearing uh, shorts and no shoes. So I guess that means it's okay. Yeah, here in the town of Kuichi. <laughs> The one on the Mitsubishi Lancer has Tasmania explore the possibilities, but this one here says Tasmania, your natural state. I kind of like the natural state one. You, you didn't come from the front. But I went, tried to go through that door. It's a sensor door and it didn't open. And of course, Ling found that funny. But I got a fried chicken burger. At a seafood place. At a seafood place that doesn't sell oysters. <laughs> Just on lunch, an okay chicken burger. Not the best, not the worst. How was your po' boiling? It was really salty. And close. See, it's just like a Tesla, but not. <laughs> Like good surfing waves, mate, but we're here at Suicide Beach. Good beaches, good vibes. This place is called Suicide Beach, but there's not a single sign that shows any name. It's just Shia beauty. Yeah, there's no toilets, so I hope we have toilet paper. Look how tall I look in my shadow. Well, with wet shoes and wet socks, I had to switch into my chaglitas. I wanted to feel the temperature of the water and got too close. Oh, I just hit record. <laughs> they're soaked. Oh, they're soaked, man. Well, I wanted to feel how cold the water was. Oh, there you go. It's actually not that cold. No. Well, through my shoes anyway. Too bloody close. If these unfortunate things happen, make sure there's a camera rolling at least. Makes it worth it. We are here at the Freedom Campsite. Let's uh, check out this tent. Now this is sort of the hired tent uh, gear. So I don't know if it's complete. Thank you. What do you reckon down here? What? Turn right. Push it my way, the whole way. Push okay. front, yeah. You push it. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I completely forgot how to do the tent, yes! You don't pull the rods, you push them. Because then they disconnect. Great, so push it. Ay, ay, ay. You know you can't tell me what to do. Ay, ay, ay. It doesn't work like that. You see what I gotta live with? No, that, look what's under. It's like black. I'm gonna push this through. Oh, I'm trying not to think about how uncomfortable these mats are going to be. Like aired them out. Yep. Smells clean enough. No, don't. You can see like grease. Oh, I know. I know. This one's mine. Can you tell? Because it's blue. <sighs> Secondhand sleeping bag that might gross you out. It looks like there's like saliva stains. Oh. Like you know when you drool on your pillow. Oh 
I don't know if it's oil from your from the person's head or like liquids from their mouth. Hard to tell. But that's what I'm gonna be sleeping in. This is Ling's new sleeping bag. But the tent is set up. Yay! Thank you, car hire, for hiring out everything we needed. And they hired out a car, not the wife, just the car. You can hear the ocean. You can hear the gentle sound of crushing waves. I wonder if we'll see any wild wombats out there. We're pretty wild where we are. It's pretty wild. Pretty wild. <laughs>